This procedure destroys the endometrium. That's the layered tissue that lines the inner wall of your uterus. This tissue sheds when you have your monthly period. Ablation is sometimes used to treat heavy menstrual bleeding. It is used only when you do not want to get pregnant in the future. To begin, you lie on an exam table that supports your legs and feet. We may give you medicine to get you relaxed and numb. We carefully place a device called a speculum into your vagina. The speculum holds your vagina open so we can reach your cervix. That's the lower part of your womb. We may also need to enlarge the opening in the center of your cervix. We do this with a thin rod called a dilator. Now it's time to treat your uterus. We do this with the help of a device called a hysteroscope. It's a thin tube with a light and a camera. It shows the inside of your uterus on a monitor. We guide the scope through your cervix and into your uterus. We send fluid through it to expand your uterus so we can see more clearly. Then we pump a heated fluid into your uterus. This heats and destroys the endometrium. Next, we fill the uterus with a cooling fluid. Finally, we drain the fluid and remove the hysteroscope. When it's done, we watch you for a brief time. Then you can go home. Follow your care tips for a safe recovery. Getting pregnant after ablation can lead to serious problems. So after your procedure, you must use effective birth control. Your healthcare provider will help you make a plan to prevent pregnancy.